Learn with Peppa Pig. Time. Today we are going to learn about the different times of the day Yippee! and what we might do at those times. <laughs> Here is a clock. Shall we start our day? Let's go. Look, it's morning and the sun has risen. Good morning, Peppa. Good morning, George. Peppa and George have woken up. They get out of bed and then they brush their teeth and get dressed. Time for some breakfast. Mm. Then Mummy and Daddy Pig drive them to playgroup. In the morning, the sun rises and we wake up and start our day. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun at playgroup. Woohoo! Oh look, now it's lunchtime. It is time to stop for lunch. What yummy food! At lunchtime, we have something to eat. Look, it's the afternoon. It's home time. Pepper and her friends have had a lovely day at playgroup. Goodbye, Madame Gazelle. See you tomorrow. Ooh, the playground. What shall we play on? How about the swings? Whee! What fun! In the afternoon, we might play with our friends. It is getting darker outside and the sun is going down. It is the evening. In the evening, Peppa and her family have dinner together. Here is the moon. It must be night time. Pepper and George brush their teeth again and put on their pyjamas. They get into bed and listen to a story. Oh, somebody is very tired. Good night, Daddy Pig. Have a lovely long sleep. Night, night, Pepper. Night, night, George. In the evening, we eat our dinner. Then at night time, we get ready for bed and go to sleep. Shall we have a look at that lovely day again? Great! Pepper and George have got out of bed and are brushing their teeth. What time of day do you think it is? That's right, it's the morning. Very good. And what's happening here? Pepper and her friends are eating lunch at playgroup. Can you remember what time of day this is? That's right, it's lunchtime. Well done. Pepper and her friends are having lots of fun in the playground. What time of day is it now? Right again. It's the afternoon. Great work. Pepper and her family are eating their dinner together. Do you know what time of day this is? Yes, it's the evening. Very good. Pepper and George have put on their pajamas and are going to sleep. What time of day do we call this? That's right, it is night time. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. <laughs> that was some great learning. You've just learned about the different times of the day. Perhaps you do similar things throughout your day. Well done. Enjoy your day. Learn with Peppa Pig. Music. Yippee! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are playing musical instruments at their playgroup. Yes. <laughs> Here is the music room. Look at all those different musical instruments. Shall we find out what some of them are? Where shall we start? How about here? Do you know what this instrument is? It's a guitar. It has strings and you use your hands to play them. Shall we listen to how it sounds? Shall we hear that again? Woohoo! Maybe you know someone who plays the guitar.
Let's pick another instrument. Let's look at this instrument. This looks fun. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a drum. A drum is round and you use drumsticks to play it. Let's listen to some drum playing. Let's hear that again. It's very loud, isn't it? Back to the music room to find another instrument. Look at this here. Do you know what this is? It has strings like a guitar, but it's much smaller. Yes, it's a violin. You use a bow to play it. Let's hear what a violin sounds like. Shall we hear it again? Oh, lovely. Right, what's next? What's this? It's round and has bells around the side that jangle when you shake or bang it. Yes, it's a tambourine. Let's play it. Again. Jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle. This is fun. Here is a much bigger instrument. Do you know what this is? It's a piano. A piano has black and white keys that you play with your fingers. Let's play it, shall we? What lovely piano playing. Let's play it again. Lovely. <laughs> oh, look. Pepper and her family have found a box. I wonder what's inside. It is some more musical instruments. Daddy Pig has an accordion and a horn. But it's very difficult to play. Oh, well done, George. Look. Pepper and her family are playing their instruments all together. When we play our instruments together, it's called a band. What lovely music. Some people like to dance when they listen to music. Shall we dance together? Woohoo! Great dancing! What great music! That was a lot of fun. Well done. You've just learned about lots of different musical instruments and the sounds they make. You've also learned that when people play musical instruments together, it's called a band. Have you got some musical instruments that you can play? <laughs> Happy music making. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Colours. Today we are going to learn about different colours. Yippee! Are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> Pepper and her family are going for a drive. They love driving in their family car. Honk honk! Pepper's family car is the colour red. Shall we see what else is the colour red? Mummy Pig is driving the fire engine today. Nino, Nino. Can you see something red here? That's right, the fire engine is red. Well done. <laughs> Emily Elephant is bouncing on a bouncy toy. The bouncy toy is orange. Let's find something else orange. George is trying to pull up a carrot. I'll help you, George. One, two, three, pull! Well done, George. Can you find something orange here? Yes, it's the carrot. The carrot is orange. We must all waddle like ducks. 
We're going to the duck pond, big wig whack. We're going to see the dogs go quack, quack, quack. Pepper and her family are going to the duck pond, but Mr. Bull won't let them through. Sorry, folks, the path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? Whoa! Oh dear, the path is too slippery. Mr. Bull's truck is the colour yellow. And look, Mr. Bull's hat is also yellow. Let's find something else yellow. Quick, Emily, get the ball. Whoops! Can you see something yellow here? That's right. Emily Elephant's dress is yellow. Let's name another colour, shall we? Pepper is learning to cross the road with Daddy Pig. Better stop and wait. Look, the traffic light is the colour green. Shall we find something else green? Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom together. Can you spot the green thing here? Yes, that's right. It's George's dinosaur. George's dinosaur is green. What colour is next? Shall we see? Pepper and her friends are playing American football today. Good throw, Gerald. Got it! Oh! Oh! Never mind, Pepper. Pepper's football shirt is blue. Let's find something else that is the colour blue. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are playing with a flying toy. Can you spot something blue here? That's right, the flying toy is blue. That's a big one. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Oh, hello, Grandpa Pig. First on the list. Grandpa Pig is wearing the colour purple. He has a purple hat too. Shall we find something else purple? Pepper and George are jumping up and down on the sofa. What a lot of fun. Can you see something purple here? Have you got it? Yes, the sofa is purple. Well done. You've just learned lots of different colours. Look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game about colours? Great, let's go. <laughs> Here are some objects in different colours. Can you spot two blue things here? Yes, the blue flying toy. And Peppa's football shirt is also blue. Well done. And how about two yellow things? Can you see those? Well done. Mr Bull's truck and Emily Elephant's yellow dress. Great job. Let's find two green things now. Have you got them? It's the green traffic light and George's dinosaur. Excellent work. Now to find two red things. Hmm, let's see. There they are, the family car and the fire engine. Now for two purple things. Sofa and Grandpa Pig's clothes. And finally, can you find two orange things? Yes, well done. It's the bouncy toy and the carrot. Well done. You have just learned to name and recognize these colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. Great job. Learn with Peppa Pig. Maps. Today we are going to learn about maps and how to use them to find our way around. Yippee! <laughs> a map is a drawing that shows a place and it can help us get from one place to another. Grandpa Pig has buried some treasure from And Granny Pig has drawn a map to help them find it. Shall we help Pepper and George use Granny Pig's map to find the treasure? Great, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, 
Here we are at Peppa's house. Shall we look at the map to see which way we should go first? Look, the beach is closest to Peppa's house, so let's try there first. Maybe we'll find the treasure there. The beach is below Peppa's house, so we'll have to go this way to get there. Off we go! Well done, you've arrived at the beach. What a lovely warm and sunny day. Better put on our sun cream. No time to play though, Daddy Pig. There's treasure to be found. Can you see it here? No, I can't either. Oh well, let's check the map to see where we should go next. We're here at the beach. Look, there's the forest. Let's try there next. The forest is at the top of the map. That means we need to go this way and then right to get to it. Have we packed our bags? Off we go again then! <laughs> We've made it to the forest. Wow, look at all these trees. Maybe this sign will tell us where the treasure is. No, nope, still no sign of the treasure. Better check the map again. Here we are in the forest. It looks like we should try the castle next. Look, can you see on the map that we need to go right to get to it? Well done! Off we go again! Yippee! <laughs> Here we are at the castle. It's very tall, isn't it? Look at that flag at the top. Maybe that's where the treasure is. Come on, let's go in and see if we can find it. Well, can you see the treasure? No, it's not here either, is it? Where could it be? We'd better look at the map again. Here we are at the castle. Where haven't we been yet? Yes, Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. There it is on the map, over to the left of the castle. Look, there it is, over there. Come on, off we go again. Yippee! <laughs> Hurrah, we made it! Here we are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. The treasure must be here. Let's try this spot. <laughs> Keep digging, Daddy Pig. Hooray! There it is! The treasure! We did it! That was a really fun treasure hunt. You just learned what a map is and how to use it to find your way. Well done! Why don't you have a go at hiding your own treasure and drawing a map to find it? Happy treasure hunting! Learn with Peppa Pig. Families. Today we are going to learn about Peppa and her family. Shall we start? Let's go. Yippee! <laughs> this is Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. And in Peppa's family is George. Hello, George. George is Peppa's brother. That means Pepper is George's sister. Brothers and sisters are called siblings. Pepper and George spend lots of time together playing and having fun. Shall we meet some more of Pepper's family? Great. <laughs> Who is this? Yes, it is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig are Peppa and George's parents. Peppa and George are Mummy and Daddy Pig's children. George is Mummy and Daddy Pig's son and Peppa is Mummy and Daddy Pig's daughter. They live together in Peppa's house. Peppa and her family love each other very much. 
let's meet more of Peppa's family. Yippee! <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. Granny and Grandpa Pig are Mummy Pig's parents. Just like Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are Peppa and George's parents. Granny and Grandpa Pig are Peppa and George's grandparents. That means Peppa and George are Granny and Grandpa Pig's grandchildren. Good job. Ready to look at some more of Peppa's family? <laughs> Hello, Uncle and Auntie Pig. Uncle Pig lives with Auntie Pig. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig are brothers. They are Uncle and Auntie Pig to Pepper and George. Uncle and Auntie Pig also have children. Shall we find out who they are? Yippee! <laughs> Here are Cousin Chloe and her brother, Baby Alexander. They are Auntie and Uncle Pig's children. Cousin Chloe and Baby Alexander are cousins to Pepper and George. Well done. That was some great learning about Pepper's family. Shall we take a little dance break? Yippee! Ready? <laughs> Let's go! Why don't you dance with someone in your family? Great dancing! That was fun. Now, back to the learning. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper is George's sister and George is Pepper's brother. Can you remember what brothers and sisters are called? That's right, brothers and sisters are called siblings. And who are Pepper and George's parents? <laughs> Pepper and George's parents are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Well done. Mummy Pig also has parents. Do you know who they are? That's right. Granny and Grandpa Pig are Mummy Pig's parents. That means they are Pepper and George's grandparents. Daddy Pig has a brother. Do you know who he is? That's right, Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Uncle Pig lives with Auntie Pig and they have two children. Can you remember their names? Good job, they are Cousin Chloe and Baby Alexander. Cousin Chloe and Baby Alexander are Pepper and George's cousins. Well done, you did it. You just learned about Pepper and George's family. Why don't you have a go naming some people in your own family? That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Keeping clean. Today we're going to learn about all the fun ways we can keep ourselves clean. Are you ready? Yippee! Good morning, Peppa. Good morning, George. Peppa and George are brushing their teeth. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush them all about. Oh. Brush them squeaky clean, then rinse and spit it out. Brush in little circles for two minutes a day. Then we brush, brush, brush at night to clean them once again. Hooray! It's important to brush our teeth twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night before we go to bed. You get your toothbrush, put some toothpaste on it and brush your teeth up and down and round and round. Gently though, not too hard. Why do you think it's important to brush our teeth? It keeps them strong and healthy. And it keeps your breath nice and fresh. If we don't look after our teeth, they can become very sore. <laughs> what a lovely, healthy smile, George. What else should we do to keep ourselves clean? <laughs> now 
we must wash our hands to keep the germs away. Wash, wash, wash again every single day. <laughs> Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit are at the petting farm. They're washing their hands before they touch the animals. First, they put some soap on their hands ah. and then some water. Then they rub them together to get them nice and clean. Rub-a-dub-dub, scrub-scrub-scrub. -dub -scrub. What good hand-washing, everyone. Why do you think we should wash our hands? Well, we wash our hands to stop spreading germs, as germs can make us unwell. And when should we wash our hands? After touching an animal or pet, before and after eating or making food, if you're poorly or have a cough or cold, after you've been to the toilet, or if you've changed a dirty nappy. We should wash our hands lots of times throughout the day. But that's not the only thing we should wash. Pepper and Susie have got very messy, so they're having a bath to get nice and clean. <laughs> having a bath is lots of fun, especially when there are lots of bubbles. Splish, splash, splosh. Do you like to have a bath? Having a bath helps us stay clean and smelling fresh. It also helps us to not get ill by washing off all the dirt and germs. It can also be really, really fun. Well done. You've just learned all about why it's important to brush your teeth, wash your hands and have a bath. And now you know how to stay squeaky clean. <laughs>